Hey everyone, um, we got a really cool script. I've been I've been using this overall approach for over a decade now to create fake drives. And it's really handy, one is if you work on multiple computers, but also if you work with other people. Uh, but we have a great tool that makes it really easy to do instead of editing your registry. So Isaiah is gonna demonstrate it because window, he just updated Windows and Windows, unfortunately it's like once a year, I'll do a major update and it wipes your settings. So you have to go back that and redo it. So what I'm referring to are the S and A drives. And I had a third one, the G drive, which are drives that we have for um, very specific stuff that we share. So it's the S drive for all of us. And now in the major update, it just got wiped out. So let's just go ahead and add it. And that's the cool thing about this drive, the, well, the create drive tool that we have. So what it does is that when you hit add, you can select the drive letter that you want. And now you can actually point to a folder in your hard drive, whatever it is, right? Now this process, Windows has a way of doing this, but the problem is the way how they created it, they're only available after Windows has, Windows has loaded. Now, if you have scripts that load at startup, what is gonna happen is that they, um, they might not load because the driver, the fake driver, the first drive is not created yet. So this tool creates the drives in a way that they're registered in the registry, in the Windows registry, in a way that they're always available before Windows is uh, completely loaded. So now let's just pick up a path. In my case, I will just go to um, Dropbox. That's where it was. Um, I'm gonna go to this particular folder. So that's where it is located. I select that folder. It puts the path in, I added. It will ask me for admin permissions because again, we're writing into the registry in a very specific location. We say yes to that and that's it, they're created. And now my computer will have an S drive listed that when I go there, that location is where we're referring to. And that way in Joe's computer, the S drive refers to his location. In my computer, the S drive refers to my location. So I can just tell him a pass S drive videos, for example, and it will be the same for him and me, even though they're pointing to different locations in our computers. The same we were gonna do with the G drive, which I think it was for guests. Oh, I don't have the G drive. Let's do also, what was it? The A drive. So let's have the A drive which was um, Dropbox, I think the automator. This is the yes. first. Well, yeah, the other, yeah. Yeah, so I select that one and say yes. And well, so this is what happened. Google Drive replaced my G Drive. I had a G right. Drive for guests. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign a different one then and let your own deal with that. But for now, let's make it for Clients, I don't know, X drive. And I would just go ahead to draw. It was for guests here. So I could reach this folder really quickly. And again, that's it. We're done. And now my computer has a list of suited fake drives, so to speak, that um, allow me to go ahead and reach very specific locations on my computer. It's also super convenient because if you're working on a project, you might create a fake drive to that project folder. So it's just quick access and what you're doing, right? right. A week or something, you, you have it right there as a drive. And then when you're done with that project, you remove the drive and it's no longer there. So it's right. Yeah, exactly. So they're not actual drives. So we're creating them in a very specific way in the registry. Um, but it is a great little tool. Well, our tool, just to be specific, we you run the substitute command to create it because normally you have to reboot to see them, right? So right. we use the substitute command to create it temporarily. And then when you reboot, that's when it'll now use the registry settings and, and have it at, at your boot up time, which is great. Right. This also comes with a secondary tool called Result Drive, which does, which does the opposite of Create Drive. It just points to the actual folder of a drive that is a fake drive. So if I give it the S drive, it would actually tell me what actual location that is. Because right now it says S, right? Yeah. 
but that is a location so, under the Dropbox folder. So sometimes right, right I click, that. yeah, right click on a, a given file, and that's where right. when you're on so, the S drive, you know, you don't see the Dropbox options because Dropbox right. so, doesn't yeah. have easy path. So you have to go navigate to the real folder, right, uh, for to get the you know copy a link to the Dropbox. Right. So specifically, this menu right here. When I am in the actual folder, so the Dropbox guests, then I get this menu, right? But if I open this, um, let me open a new folder so that we don't get lost here. The same location. So I'm looking at the same spot, right? So this is client work at the top. This is client work at the top. If I right click here and I go to Dropbox, I only get the transfer copy menu under the S drive because again, this is a fake drive. This is not a real location in your computer and Dropbox cannot see that. So we created the, the resolve drive, which is the opposite. So sometimes if I'm here in this location, I can just hit a hotkey and it would actually go to where I want to go. So let me see what I have, what happens here is the tab, I think. Here, um, it would let me close this out. Well, it would open the folder for me directly in the actual path. So from the S drive, it actually opened the folder in the right path, so that now I have access to this. So that's how we use it. Those two tools they go with, with their, they go with each other hand in hand. One of them creates the thing, and the other one actually kind of like resolves the drive. Um, to its original path. Yeah, and just to clarify, the, the create drive is something you usually run once, you know, or anytime yeah. you want to create something, but you don't keep it running. The resolve drive, no. you might want to have that always running so you can jump to it easily. Right, that is correct. I actually have a hotkey that triggers the resolve drive script, um, but this one, as Joe just mentioned, one time, and I just had to do it because I did a major uh, Windows update, and that kind of like, so uh, removed it, but we have been using this for, for what? Um, a little while now, right? So I've been using it for a few months already and I never had to actually run this again. This is the first it's time. It's pretty rare, months. yeah. It, right, it's, it's very rare that I have to run the create drive. I, it's a one-time thing, really. So um, I'll put the URL where to grab that. It's a, it's a great little script. Again, you do have to have admin privileges in order to run that, but it's um, super helpful keeps you organized, makes your files easily accessible. And when you're sharing things between different people or across different computers, you can keep that path the same, which is, we all know, really, really yeah. helpful. Yeah, definitely. All right. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you learned something here. It really helps us out. Cheers.